Why was there no October 5th, 1582? The answer next on today's Creation Moments. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. Did you know that there was no October the 5th, 1582? There wasn't even an October the 6th that year. Why? Well, the story begins with Earth's orbit. A year is exactly 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes and 46 seconds. This means that every year when the day of your birth arrives, the Earth is not exactly where it was in orbit on the day that you were born. Though the 11-minute error is small, it does add up over hundreds of years. The Julian calendar, with its leap day every four years, helped correct this to some extent, but not completely. That's because the year is not quite 365 and a quarter days. Over the 1,600 years of its existence, the minutes and seconds not reflected in the Julian calendar added up. So by 1582, Pope Gregory XIII announced refinements to the calendar by adding leap years. Moreover, every 400 years, a year ending in double zero received a leap day. This system keeps the calendar accurate to one day every 3,300 years. The old calendar had become inaccurate by 10 days, over its 1,600 years of use. To correct it, Pope Gregory declared that October the 4th, 1582, was to be followed by October the 15th. The fact that man has always been making fairly accurate calendars reflects his intelligence, an intelligence given to him from the beginning by an intelligent creator. For a free copy of our Creation Resource Catalog, visit our website at creationmoments.com or call us toll-free at 1-800-42-BIBLE. That's 1-800-422-4253. And be sure to join us next time for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.